What's up, guys? In this video, guys, I will show you a step by step process of how you can actually bypass the Windows 11 restriction screen. Whenever you're trying to run and install Windows 11 on your system, either through a USB flash drive, you're going to get an error message that your PC can't run Windows 11. Now, this is happening because your system does not have a TPM feature and does not support a UEFI secure boot. All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a step by step process on how you can skip this error message and be able to run and install Windows 11 perfectly in your system without any restriction. So, if you're interested, let's now get into the video. Guys, so before I'm going to go ahead to fix and uh, resolve this kind of problem, now the very first thing I'm going to do is to take a second look at the problem once again. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect my Windows 11 bootable USB flash drive. So if in case if you have not created your own Windows 11 bootable USB flash drive, you can just click on the link above and it will take you to the previous video which I've already made on how to create your own bootable USB flash drive to install Windows. All right, so I'll go ahead and connect my USB flash drive. And then I'll turn on the computer and I'll use F12 key to boot from the USB flash drive. So depending on your computer, this is Lenovo. So I'll use F12 key to boot from the USB flash drive. So from here, I'll select the USB flash drive as the boot device. So by default, it's selected. So I'll just click on enter. Alright guys, so at this Windows page, I'll just click on next, I'll hit on next, and I'll click on install now. Alright guys, so this is the screen that I'm talking about here, as you can see, this PC can't uh, run Windows 11. This PC does not meet the minimum system requirement to install this version of Windows. For more information, visit this link, alright? So when you get to this screen, now all you need to do is just to click on the shift together with the f10 key all right so i'll go ahead and hit on that key shift together with f10 now this will take you uh, straight forward to cmd so from here guys all we need to do is just to uh, follow the key that i'm going to type in and be able to enter and follow the same process that i will show you all right so just type rigidit so we'll enter rigidit so make some changes there And hit on enter and here is the registry editor so the next thing I'm going to do is to locate is to go to local machine hit on local machine and go to system and then from key just right click on key and then you move over to new new key so from here, you just type lab config. Make sure that the first L is in capital letter lab. Lab config. After that, you hit on enter. And then you come over to this page here and you right click and you click on new. Click on D word 32 bit value. You click on it and from here, we are going to be bypassing three things here. We are going to be bypassing the TPM check. We are going to be bypassing also the UFI secure boot check. All right. So these are the major two things that is preventing us from installing Windows 11 on this system. So what we are going to do here is just to bypass TPM check. So the first letter is going to be in capital letter B. Bypass. Bypass TPM is going to be in capital letter also TPM. And then the C is going to be in capital letter, and then others will be in small letter. T TPM check. All right. So when you are done, just hit on enter. Then stay right click and then create another D word. So this time around, we are going to be bypassing the secure boot. So from here, the first letter, which is B, is going to be in capital letter bypass. Bypass secure. The secure S is going to be in capital letter also. Secure 
then the B is also going to be in capital letter secure boots then check C capital letter and then when you're done you hit on enter all right so assuming you are running your system with a 2 gig ram you might still go ahead to bypass the ram check all right so but what i have on my system is 8 gig ram so it meets the minimum requirement to install windows 11 i have 8 gig ram on my system so but if you have 2 gig ram on your system now all you need to do is just to create another option here which is to bypass ram check all right so when you are done just hit on the first option there just double click on it and then change this value to one change the value to one and hit on ok then the same thing change the value to one and hit on ok all right so guys we are done so just exit the registry editor so just close it up and here type exit and then hit on enter and then close this page and then install again Alright guys, so as you can see here, we have successfully installed the Windows 11 on this system here. Now, Windows 11 is now working perfectly for this laptop. Now, I can just quickly go ahead and uh, set up the system. guys so if you enjoy watching today's video guys i would like you to do just two things for me i would like you to give this video a thumbs up comment in the comment section and i would like you to subscribe if today is your very first time or coming across our youtube channel subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that anytime that we release a new content here on our youtube channel you'll be notified and you come and watch our video all right so with that being said see you in the very next tutorial bye for now